This is an example of a micro-sprinkler irrigation system for avocado, located at the Tropical Research and Education Center in Homestead, Florida. Micro-sprinkler irrigation was selected for avocado because it allows for irrigation to be applied directly to each tree with minimal losses. This reduces weed growth and conserves water. Micro-sprinkler irrigation systems are often used in orchards, ornamental nurseries, or landscapes in South Florida. Let's move through the steps of the process. The pump is used to pump groundwater up and into the irrigation line. The pump is operated such that a drop in pressure triggers the pump to start. The drop in pressure occurs when a valve is opened, releasing the pressure in the system. Pressure is constantly maintained from the pump to the solenoid valve in this type of pressurized system. The pressure tank helps to maintain pressure in the system and reduces large decreases and increases in pressure. This helps to protect the pump. The filter is used to remove debris from the water entering the system to help prevent damage to the valves or clogging of the emitters. Filters should be placed on a maintenance schedule so that they are regularly cleaned. Pressure regulators are used to protect system components from too high of a pressure. They reduce the water pressure to a specific point based on the type of regulator being used. Pressure regulators come in a variety of pressures and are generally purchased based on protecting components that require lower pressures. Solonide valves are used to open and close irrigation lines. They are typically electronically connected to an automatic irrigation controller. A signal is sent from the controller to the valve to open and allow water to flow into the irrigation lines. Water meters are used to determine the volume of water that was applied. Water meters are very useful for identifying problems in irrigation systems. For example, if a system has a leak, this may show up in the water meter readings. In addition, if irrigation is not occurring as anticipated, this can be observed using the water meter. This irrigation system is using a special type of controller called an evapotranspiration, or ET controller. This controller uses real-time data and historical averages to develop an irrigation schedule. This controller is discussed in greater detail in the lessons. The weather station attached to the controller is located nearby and provides real-time temperature and precipitation data. Polytube is a semi-rigid tube that is used frequently for micro-sprinkler irrigation systems. Polytube is lightweight and easy to maneuver in the field. Micro-sprinklers come in a variety of types, including different spray patterns and rates. They should be selected considering the system in which they will be used, the system operating pressure, and system capacity.